Hey everyone. I don't know about you, but I have found the first week of lockdown rather challenging. I have found that my mind has been extra busy in this past week. We've had to get a lot of things up to speed in a number of areas with church life, uh, the whole area of responsibility over people, looking after people, looking after leaders, looking after other churches that we're overseeing, our family life, thinking about family, looking after them, home life, things have been getting behind in the home life. So my mind's been busy and God has had to remind me around what he's been speaking into us as a church, what he's been speaking to me around the whole area of Ascend, getting aside with him, getting away from the distractions. He invites us, Revelation 4.1, he invites me, he invites you to get aside with him, to allow him to show us and tell us various things, allow him to speak into our life, to encourage us, to breathe fresh revelation into us. So I want to encourage you, as I encourage myself, to get aside with him, away from distractions, allowing yourself to listen to him, allowing yourself to let him show you what he wants to show you. He loves us so much. He loves me. Isn't that wonderful? He loves you. And if uh, Exodus 34, 14 it talks about God being a jealous God. His, it says his very name is jealous. He's jealous about his relationship with you and me because he loves us so much. He loves relationship with us. So let's enjoy relationship with him. This is a great time to spend time with him. Great time to get aside with him. So I pray that you would enjoy him imparting into your life fullness, fullness. John 10, 10, he wants fullness for us. Allow him to impart his truth, his peace, his strength, his love, his joy into your very being. And I saw this great quote, choose to replace worry with worship, replace worry with worship and replace panic with praise. And I love the way that Paul and Silas did that in Acts 16. You can read that in Acts 16. Step into a place of worship and praise. I know it's helpful for me. I want to bless you from Ephesians 3.16. May you experience the love of Christ Though it is so great, you will never fully understand it. And may you be filled with the fullness of life and power that comes from God. In 2 Thessalonians 3.16, May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. Amen. God bless.